Lots of women's detoxification pathways are very poor, and therefore we can be more estrogen dominant because of that. Also, dysbiosis in the gut, and that means more bad bacteria than good, can throw off estrogen metabolism. And so we can have hormone metabolism issues just because our gut bacteria is off. And so these are all really important things to look at. So doing testing, we'll even look at urine. Um, even some of the Dutch testing can be really helpful, especially if we can look at hormone metabolites. We'll look at organic acids too, because methylation is a big deal. I see a lot of women not methylating well. On that 2-methoxy, two 2-hydroxy two pathway that helps with methylation, we see a lot of that is more depleted and we have less hormone metabolism happening. And then of course, there could be thyroid problems too. If you have Hashimoto's and you have low thyroid, that can make perimenopausal issues worse. Our DHEA from our adrenals, if that's very low, that's the precursor that's now gonna be replacing the follicular reserve that's no longer there. The hormones from the follicles are no longer there. The DHEA replaces that. So we want to look at DHEA. We want to look at all these different hormones and see what we can do and what the next step is. Because if we get to the root cause, we can buffer that hormonal drop and we can allow you know a smooth landing. And we can use herbs as well to kind of help the hormones do their best with a smaller amount. And it also works on the pituitary, helping the pituitary signaling downstream to the receptor site. So there's a lot of good options that we can do.